everyone, it's Dawn. I'm back again and I'm going to be starting, I'm not quite sure how long it is, it's going to be, I don't mean the video, I mean the series, I'm going to be starting a new series which I'm going to be calling, unless I can come up with a better name, or someone else can come up with a better name, Crafting with Nature. And the reason I'm calling it Crafting with Nature is because we're going to use elements of nature to craft with. Complicated, isn't it? So anyway, as we're still in autumn, as, as of recording this video, we are still in autumn or fall or whatever you like to call it where you are. We are going to use some autumn leaves. Now, I have used real autumn leaves, but I've used them in a couple of different ways. And I'm going to be showing you how we're going to use those to create a beautiful, well, I hope it's going to be a beautiful. The reason I haven't got a sample to start with is because I haven't, I didn't, I couldn't find enough leaves of different colours to do a sample and then show you how to do it. So you're going to see how this and I am going to see how it's going to evolve as we go together, because this is only an idea. I haven't even had a chance to plan it. So even I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out, but hey ho, let's find out. So I'm going to make this a six by six card and I've just cut my own six by six card from 300 GSM card stock. But you don't have to worry about that. You don't necessarily need a thick card stock for this. And I've also cut, I'm going to put that to one side for the time being because we'll come back to that right at the very end. I've also cut myself a piece that measures five and three quarters squared. So that's five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And this time on this mat, I have just stained it with a little bit of gold glitter paste. So this being autumn, I thought we'd just keep with the autumn colours. Now, the bit that's really crazy, well, it might seem crazy. I'm going to use what's left of a real autumn leaf. I picked this up yesterday on my way back from the shops and it, it did have a bit of purple in it, but it's died off since then. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in the middle of my card or middle-ish. I might actually slide it up just a little bit more and I'm going to use a bit of washi tape just to lightly just hold the stem into place. We don't need the whole lot nailed down or taped down. Nailed down, that could be fun, couldn't it? So we're just going to tape it down just so that it doesn't move about too much. So we're going to be doing a few other things well as we go along. So it's not really a complicated one, it's just different. Very, very different. But there again, it's me, it would be. So I've got this beautiful little palette here of colours and they're not all necessarily autumnal, I suppose they could be. So I'm just, I think I'm going to use that one there. That nice, what I'm going to call autumn plum. I don't know what it's really called, but that's what I'm going to call it. So I'm just going to use a bit of tissue. This is just kitchen towel. If you've got those um, ink blenders or whatever they're called, ink blending brushes, you can use those, but I haven't because I don't need them. So I'm just going to use some what I'm going to call autumn plum. I make my own names up for these things, you know. And I'm going to hold that down like that. And all I'm going to do is go all the way around the leaf. And I'm going to sweep out like that. We're not going to cover the whole of the... We're not going to cover the whole of this background. Otherwise, there'll be no point in staining it. But I'm just going to start from the leaf and sweep out like that so i may have to swap hands here that could be fun but that's all right we're right not doing anything too specific or detailed so i'm just going to start from the leaf and just gently but firmly sweep out so just pick up a little bit more of this lovely color so i'm going to do that all the way around the leaf just for now and so one, until we get to there, any bits you think you've missed, you can just pop back and have another go at. So there's a couple of bits down in this corner here that I'd like just a little bit darker. Not too dark, but you could go on playing with that forever. But that's, in fact, I'm going to rub that because that's a bit too dark. That'll do for now. So what I'm going to do now is the tape's already lifting. So I know that's not going to tear. That's brilliant. So when I take that away, we are left with a lovely negative shape, that's called a negative shape, of a leaf. And so I'm just going to take just a little bit more of this and we're just going to finish it off so that we've got a nice little shadow, if you like, all the way around. So we have got now a beautiful little autumn leaf. I rather like the way that's come out. I wasn't quite sure how it would. So I'm just going to 
pop that back over there so we've got a bit more room to play. I mean, sorry, I mean work. Mm. Play, let's call it play. So we won't need the washi tape anymore, unless I change my mind, of course. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a couple of watercolour pencils. Now I'm using Derwent pencils. This isn't a sponsored video, it's just the colours I like to use. And what I'm going to do, there's not going to be any detail in this leaf particularly, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to colour with my pencils. I'm going to use two tones. If you're using Derwent, I'm using Derwent because that's the ones that most people seem to use. But there are other brands that are just as good. I'm going to be using yellow ochre. No, I'm not. I'm going to be using burnt yellow ochre and Venetian red for this if you're using Derwent. So I will add all of this in the description box below at the end of this video. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm not going to be too specific or even particularly too careful. But I, And I'm not pressing terribly hard either because I don't want this to be too bold. If I wanted it to be bold, I'd have used tube colour. So I did try it in tube colour actually, but it was too bold, I didn't like it. it. It overpowered and I didn't want it to overpower. I wanted quite a subtle effect or a subtle look. So we're just going to do this together so that you can see, so that we can all see how it's going to transpire. Well, at least I hope we will. And so that's my burnt yellow ochre. And I'm just going to use even a lighter shade of, what did I say I was using? Venetian red. So just a very light, just a light shade. Hardly any pressure at all, just to give it a bit of a darker tone. So I'm just more or less skimming over this, really. If you wanted to be brave and add a few veins with this, you could do. So you could just press a little bit harder. Oops and come down here. That's what happens when you just sharpen your pencil. They do tend to crumble a little bit, but never mind. So I'm just going to do a couple. I'm not going to be too particular. I wasn't going to do this. I'm just sort of making it up as I go along, really. So we're just going to put in a few veins. I wouldn't be too worried about this because we probably won't see very many by the time we're done. But now, I'm not going to do any more detail than that. I'm just going to wipe off the dust from there. Now I'm going to bring in my paintbrush and all we're going to do is blend it with some water. I'm going to leave that stem that I've painted in and I'm, I don't want to lose that edge. So all I'm going to do is very carefully paint over where I've just, or wash over, where I've just coloured. I'll leave a little bit of that, that veining that we've put in. If you don't want to put the veining in for this, you don't have to. So just come in, another technique is to come in from the edge if you want to keep that lovely edge and paint into the middle. So just come in like that. So there we go. So if you come in from the edge of the leaf, you get that nice natural raggedy feeling or that lovely raggedy edge that you get with autumn leaves. So I think that'll more or less do for now. I think we'll come in from there a bit more as well. So you could play with this till your heart's content. There you go, I think that'll do for that bit. But we're not done yet. No, 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 that would be far too boring. So you've got a lovely autumn leaf. I'm going to put my water right out of the way because we have finished with that now. Now, the other thing I've done is I was going to bring the originals, but they're still over on my printer. Now, what I've done is I'll bring them in here. Let's just pop that to one side. It'll give it a minute or two to dry. Have I stuck that to the base? Oh dear, what a wallet. I have. Oh dear. Right, now I know what I've done here. It's got some foam. What I've done, I've got some foam tape on the back and I've started to take it off. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just put that back. Otherwise it's going to stick and we are going to be in trouble. So what I've done, I've over on my printer, I meant to bring them down, but I didn't. Sorry about that, guys. I had some other autumn leaves that I picked up off the ground on my walk back from my shop, from the shop. Well, they're not my shops, but where, where I lived. And I've got about three or four different ones. I think I only found about three that were able. I was able to use because it's very wet outside at the moment. Here it's been raining. and So I've got some and what I did, I laid them on my printer and covered them with white paper just to, I put them face down on the scanner, covered them with white paper so we didn't get any dark spots. And I just made several colour copies. And to show you that it really is just a copy, there's the white paper on the back. So there we go. So that's another way of using our autumn leaves. 
So what I'm going to do, around the edge of this piece, this mat, I'm going to use a strong glue stick. So it might cut into where we've just put our masking, but that doesn't matter. I'm only going to put it around the edge. I'm not going to obscure it too much. So what we're going to do now, that'll do. As long as you've got one that's quite thick, you'll be okay, because this is only paper. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it on. Can you see? You can, excellent. I'm just going to put it on as far as I want it, like that. So I don't want it too far over, in other words. So we're going to do this relatively quickly together so that you can see what it looks like as it's building up. So I'm going to have several leaves. So again, just to show you, on the back, that's just a plain white. This is just copier paper. And I've made a photocopy, oh, about four or five photocopies actually, of the leaves. So I'm just going to, I know they're far too big, but that doesn't matter. The other way you could do it if you wanted to, I didn't think about it, otherwise I might have done. You could have photocopied them. No, you couldn't. Photograph them. Okay. Take, you could have taken a photograph of them and then you could put them through your desktop publisher or whatever device you've got. Uh, and then you could have scaled them down to whatever size you wanted. And that was my other husband. That was my husband asking me what I was doing. I think he'd nodded off over in the corner there, woken up, realised I was doing a video. Well, not realised I was doing a video and thought I was talking to him. But that's all right. We can cope with that. So there we go. We're going to carry on putting our leaves round the edge. And then when we finish doing that, you probably guess what's going to come next. We're going to chop off the excess. So we're going to carry on, even with the... Well, it wasn't really any interruption, but the extra voice you heard there. Sorry about that, folks. So we're going to ask Rain to be nice and quiet for the rest of this video, please. So I don't have to start all this again. So you can still see the glue. And what I might actually do, because it's quite warm in here, I'm going to put a bit more glue on because it's beginning to dry out. So there we go, just to make sure it doesn't dry out. Because it's, although it's, well, it's not quite winter, it's autumn. It's still quite, it's quite warm in here today, but that's all right. Uh, we haven't even got any heating on, but it's still warm. Or well, it seems warm anyway. Maybe it's just me because I've been rushing about. But never mind, we'll manage. So we're going to carry on, get all these leaves round here. And we'll find, I, love, I really love the colours, how they've come out. But you get all this texture and all it is is a bit of photocopy or copier paper. I was amazed at how well it's come out. I was really pleased with it. So we are going to just, we're nearly done, all the way around. I'm going to try not to obscure that central leaf too much if I can avoid it. But if we do, we do. So, and I've got one more, that's a bit of luck, isn't it? And I think we may not even need it, but I will put it just about there. And then what I'm going to do, if I can find the scissors, they're over there. I'm going to turn this over now on the back and you will see I've got some foam tape on the back and I'm just going to cut off all that excess, all the excess that's hanging over the edge because we don't need that. So we're just going to cut all that off like that. It'll probably stick to my scissors because it might have bits of glue on it, but we won't worry about that. So we're going to cut that off like that. So when I turn this back over again, you will see the final effect of this technique, if that's what you want to call it. Process. Process is probably more accurate than technique. But whatever you want to call it, you'll see the what it looks like. Oh, I think we're going to have a thunderstorm. So, heard a rumble of thunder there. So there we go. If I turn that over, now I'm going to take all these bits off. Oh, sorry about that, folks. But I'm not going to throw them away, not just yet anyway, because I might be able to use them on another project. I haven't thought of another project for them, but you never know. Crafters never throw anything away. So I'm just going to just sweep it to one side for now. I'm not even going to bother arranging it. Now I'm going to bring that in in a minute. So there we go. There is our leaves all around the edge like that. There's always one bit that didn't quite get the glue. So if you do find a bit that didn't quite catch in the glue, just Grab your glue stick, 
and stick it down. Now I want to sweep them right out of the way because I don't want glue ending up all over my jumper. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to have this as a side fold card this time. And on the back, we have some foam tape. So I'm just going to, and this is the super sticky foam tape. So just hold it very low and don't be too quick to put it off because you might find that half of it stays on. So just bring it back like that, nice and carefully. And it should come off relatively easily. So there we go. Just move that up there out of the way and make sure we've got the cards the right way around. And I'm just going to bring this over just a minute so that I can see whether it's in the centre. Because I can't from where I'm sitting. So I'm going to put that down like that and hope that it's relatively central. It looks like it doesn't look too bad, does it? So I'm going to pop that back in the centre. And to finish off this card, we're nearly done now, folks. I've got a happy birthday sentiment. This is actually happy birthday confetti, which I got from my local um, paper chase store. Couldn't remember the name for a minute. And it's confetti. They're just single ones. They're in, it's the same font and size, but in different colours. And you, what you'd normally do is you just sprinkle them into the box. And so when the person or the recipient opens the box, they've got all this happy birthday. But I've stacked three of them up together, glued them together. And I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet because I don't want to obscure this leaf. So I was going to put it in the middle, but I don't want to do that now. So I could put it at the top or I could put it at the bottom. Do you know what? I think I'm going to put it at the bottom. So I think I'm going to put it down there because it ties in with the colour scheme. And there we go, guys. There is our card from our Crafting with Nature. Crafting with Nature using real awesome leaves. It's a bit of a mouthful for a title of a video, isn't it? But unless I can think of a shorter one, that's what it's going to say when this video goes up. So I hope you've enjoyed that, found it interesting. And perhaps if you're mad like me, you might be mad enough to have a go and do it yourself. So, or something similar. If you can't find autumn leaves, if it's not autumn where you are at, when, this, when you watch this video, you might find some green leaves or maybe even some flowers. So that's a, but don't go into other people's garden nicking their leaves and flowers because they might not like it. So, and this will stand up really nicely like that. If I rock it backwards, you'll see it. So because it's not overly, I was going to say pretty, but I didn't mean that. But it's suitable, the colour scheme is suitable for a male or a female because sometimes it's difficult to find some cards for those awkward males in our lives, isn't it, girls? So this card would be suitable for a male or a female. So I hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting and hopefully useful as well. And I will see you in my next video. And until then, thank you so much for watching. Welcome, incidentally, to all of our new subscribers. It's lovely to have you on board. That was quite a nice surprise, especially as I haven't been on for a few days. So if you are enjoying these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you'll never miss a new video or any other videos that I put up. And when I come back next time, in my previous video, I was telling you that I'm going to be starting a new Facebook group. I haven't opened it, I haven't opened it yet because I'm not quite ready, but it's about teaching anyone who might be interested in doing crafting for a business. Now, I've had a few, quite a few, actually, of you who are interested in that. So thank you so much for your comments and questions. So in my next video, I will be giving you just a bit of a sample of what you can expect to learn or one of the things you might hopefully learn if you come and join me in my new Facebook group. So come back in my next video and I'll give you a list, just a sample of one of the things that I'm going to be teaching for crafting as a business. So that really is it for this time, guys. See you next time. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.